China was a great empire. And now we're going to try to tell you about it in like four minutes. The Han Dynasty falls. The Chinese people need an answer. We need an answer! Confucianism is the answer. Confucianism, yeah! Everyone thought this was the answer. It was amazing, wonderful, spectacular, magical, awesome, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Oh, and did I tell you, it was pretty darn awesome. But then, da-da-da-da-da, Buddhism. Yeah, that's right, Buddhism came and everyone loved it. It was all those adjectives we described early. But then, Taoism came. Taoism? And then some powerful dudes came and took over the empire. Zhao killed like 60 dudes to take power over China. And then he changed his name to Wendy. I know, I'm as confused as you. He reunified China and made it strong. He liked Confucianism and Buddhism and Taoism, so he combined them. He also built stuff with Legos. No, not with Legos. What is he, five? He built stuff with bricks, like the Grand Canal, and rebuilt the Great Wall. The, then the Tangs took over. Yeah, that's right, Tao Zong and Gao Zhu. They were family. We are family. Then Wu Zhao, she was a woman. She took over Korea. I'm Korea! I'm Wu Zhao! And then, Zhuang Zhang made arts and literature flourish. The Tangs did a lot. They were only allowed people to be in government if they passed a test. Yeah, that's right, they had to pass a test. It was the hardest test in the world at the time. Only like 10 people passed a year. The songs came in. No, not the la la la. The songs of, like, the family, the dynasty. Ah, never mind. They also helped farmers, giving them land and other stuff. Trade and travel also changed. They made rivers and stuff and boats too. Agriculture, time. Ridges were made in the earth to make farming easier. Commerce changed. They made coins. Yeah, my cha-ching. Trade increased too. It was a time of brilliant achievements. Poetry, art, te an art techno technological advances, and historic influence. Porcelain and other stuff. Then came the Mongols. A man named Genghis Khan took over with his powerful, bloodthirsty army. Everyone was afraid. Oh, and he had a ton of wives. They had to learn to rule a great empire, like this. Then Genghis Khan died. Then his grandson Kublai came over, and he makes this empire great. He opens up China to the world, making trade flourish, and everyone feels safe. The f they loved foreign people. Like Marco Polo, who's some guy from Europe, a traitor. Kublai's BFF. But then came the Chinese overthrow of the Mongols. Ming's of the first dynasty. Zhu Wanzang established the empire. Then Hong Wu did some good stuff improving the Great Wall, giving farmers land and lower taxes. But he also killed a ton of people for treason. He was a bad dude. Then Yang Lei made a collection of buildings. His friend Admiral Zhang did some sailing voyages with like 300 ships and 2,000, 28,000 crew members. Then... The Qing Dynasty took over. This was the last empire till nine and lasting till 1911. And that was China in less than four minutes.